recreational sports, and this is more like the, you know, being outdoors, um, adventure type sports, maybe just open gym type stuff, not necessarily as organized, possibly. Um, I was trying to figure out exactly, but there's some fitness stuff that they do at the uh, Dixon Rec Center. You can sign up for group fitness classes, wellness coaching, groups and personal training. Um, let's look at the adventure end of it, adventure leadership. Um, you do a lot of outdoor activities, obviously some rafting, outings and classes. Let's see what those are. You can take credit classes, a bunch of non-credit classes, wilderness medicine. You can get some facilitation skills. There's so much stuff offered at Oregon State, I didn't even have a clue that all these things were available until you really start exploring. And it's absolutely amazing all the things that you can be involved with. So here's the sport clubs that I was talking about earlier too that we were going to um, look at. So we're gonna look at sport clubs and these definitely are more competitive, but not at the collegiate level. So let's say you're really good at soccer, but you didn't make the college soccer team. There's um, other ways to compete and be really competitive. You can even join a bass fishing club, cycling club, disc golf, like we talked about, equestrian clubs. This is a lot of the clubs that are more pertaining to sports. So, but some of them are very competitive, like the men's soccer club. It says right here, competitive club, and you pay to be in that. And um, yeah, so really cool stuff. So if you are interested, let's say, in volleyball and you say, I really want to learn how to become a better volleyball player, but I don't feel very skilled or super competitive, you can always uh, join the lesser competitive um, league of that intramural so that you can also have the opportunity to learn and improve your skills with someone who's closer to, to your level and, and the place that you're in while still having fun and not feeling like you are having to compete with pros um, while, while you're still learning. So it's a really great opportunity to get into new sports if you want to try something out for the first time. Yeah, there's three levels. So A, B, and C usually. So A is being the more competitive level in the intramural. So these are kids that probably played sport that sport throughout their life and they go to college and they still want to be involved, but they don't want to be at the competitive college level. So um, those intramural sports are very competitive and it's usually students that have played their, you know, throughout high school at least. And then B will be that in between, like you'll have some that aren't as skilled, but still pretty skilled. And then C is usually the level where students are learning and they want to have fun and just get together and it's not near as competitive. So that's really cool that they have different levels too for your, whatever level you're comfortable at playing at.